Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Still seeing some uh, nasty conditions out there this morning with some light rain still being observed on the ASOS this morning and still seeing those windy conditions. Peak winds up around uh, 30 to 35 knots over the last hour. And seeing our ceiling sitting around uh, 600 feet at this time. Expecting uh, things to stay drizzly and breezy as we move through today today and continuing through the overnight, although we'll see the winds die down a bit uh, in the evening. Uh, overall, expecting some cloudy days ahead, uh, but should see a drying trend as we go towards the end of the week. Uh, looking at our current surface analysis, have that area of low pressure still just south and almost right on top of the Wallops area this morning. That's keeping those winds elevated, and that is the system that brought uh, just over an inch and a half of rain to our region over the uh, last 24 hours and uh, most of that rain has lifted north of the area but again just expecting some light drizzle to hang around as we move uh, through the day today. Um, should see that area of low pressure move off to the east northeast and kind of park itself just off the coast for the next couple of days. It's going to keep things cloudy and with those chances of uh, light drizzle around and then finally as we get towards the end of the week we'll see that area of low pressure uh, start to pull away from the coast. Uh, looking at our upper-level winds from this morning's sounding, we're seeing northeasterly winds near the surface, a bit elevated, and then light and variable as we get through the mid-levels, and then becoming more westerly and picking back up slightly as we get into the upper mid and upper levels. Uh, seeing those, the peak wind today uh, around 36 knots at 25,000 feet, and the freezing levels at 12,800 feet. We'll take a quick look at the local radar here. We can see no returns being shown directly over Wilds, but still seeing some light rain showing up on the ASOS, uh, likely below the radar beams here, but uh, some lighter showers up to the uh, north on the peninsula. And again, expecting this picture to kind of continue uh, as this area of low pressure gradually moves east north east uh, out of the local area. If we zoom out, look at the uh, visible satellite here, we can see plenty of cloud cover over the area. Again, not expecting that to go anywhere over the next day or two, staying socked in the clouds for the most part. Could see a few breaks here or there. Uh, so you can see that low-level circulation here just south of Wallops in the, in the cloud field. So uh, that area of low pressure really close uh, to the Wallops area at this time. We look at the high-resolution model, see how things play out over the next couple of days. Again, expecting those clouds to stay socked in. Uh, no radar, radar reflectivity showing up here on the high-res model, but I can't rule out that light drizzle or light shower. Uh, continuing as we push through today today with those low clouds still staying around the area. That continues overnight uh, as we go overnight tonight and into the day on Thursday. We'll see winds lighten up as we go into the evening time frame and then as we get into the day on Thursday, we'll continue to see some cloudy conditions and then we'll see those, uh, wind, the, those windy conditions likely pick back up as we move uh, late morning and through the day as that area of low pressure uh, will be just off the coast. Um, so still close enough to provide some breezier, uh, most likely more northerly winds as we move through our day on Thursday. Uh, continuing with that ch slight chance of maybe a light drizzle through the day, maybe a light shower as well. With that area of low pressure still swinging some moisture uh, through our region. But uh, So overall, just another dreary day as we move through our day on Thursday and then going into Thursday evening. Uh, much of the same with those low clouds still staying around. And as we get into the day on Friday, we'll start to see that area of low pressure uh, finally start to pull away, but still seeing some mostly cloudy conditions. If we uh, zoom out, look at the European model here, uh, starting off Friday morning, as you can see that area of low pressure departing off to the east. Uh, things mainly dry over the area on Friday. Our best chance of maybe seeing uh, some additional peaks of sun through the day on Friday. And then going into the weekend forecast, uh, we'll stay dry Friday and into the first part of Saturday and looks like another round of rain will be moving into our region as we go through today on Saturday uh, with another area of low pressure approaching just south of Wallops and bringing those rain chances. Uh, most likely starting as we get into the p.m. time frame, the European here is faster solution with some rain chances moving in during the morning and then that continues as we go into the uh, evening time frame and overnight into Sunday morning as you can see that area of low pressure making a similar approach as what we're seeing with the current system. Then going into Sunday, uh, that area of low pressure expected to pull away from the region and we should see things start to dry out but remaining on the cloudy side. The GFS solution is showing 
uh, some lingering showers through today on Sunday and possibly even into Monday. But uh, most likely we'll see that area of low pressure pulling away and some weak ridging uh, over uh, our region and seeing uh, drying out conditions as we go into the start of next week. But still seeing some cloudy conditions likely on Monday, and then we should see some breaks in those clouds uh, finally as we get into Tuesday. So if we look at our 24-hour weather risk chart for today, have that red risk for precip this morning as we have some ongoing light rain. Uh, red risk for those winds that are above 25 knots. We are currently in that wind advisory and seeing those winds uh, well above 25 knots. And do have those low ceilings, so looking at an orange risk of those ceilings below 500 feet, sitting just above that at this time. As we move through today, today won't see temperatures move too much, expecting a high temperature around 66 degrees this afternoon. We'll see those winds continue to be breezy. Should drop off slightly as we get into the afternoon hours out of the north, northeast to north, uh, 10 to 17 knots sustained. Uh, seeing those peak winds up around 26 knots as we get into the afternoon. Slowly start to see those uh, peak winds uh, come down and so we drop down to about an orange risk of those winds that are about 25 knots, and that continues into the late afternoon, early part of the evening before we start to see those peak gusts start to drop uh, below that threshold. We're back to green conditions as we go through the overnight time frame. We'll keep a yellow risk for precip through the next 24 hours as, again, expecting a slight chance of light rain uh, or even light drizzle uh, with those low clouds around continuing over the next uh, 24 hours as we go into the Evening time frame, we pick back up a yellow risk for those reduced ceilings as we do expect those ceilings to drop as we go uh, through the evening. That's when we'll have the best chance of seeing some light drizzle around during those overnight and uh, early morning hours. Expecting that low to get down to around 57 degrees with those continued uh, cloudy conditions. Right now, tides are running about a foot above normal Thursday through Friday. We're looking at mostly cloudy to overcast conditions overall. Uh, we'll see some breezy conditions continue for Thursday. Again, expecting those winds to pick back up later in the morning. So we do keep an orange risk for those winds that are about 25 knots. So a good chance we'll see a wind advisory for Thursday. And a very slight chance, a slight chance of a light shower, a light sprinkle. Not quite a high enough chance to put a yellow risk for the precip here. But nonetheless, that chance will be there, about a 15% chance. Expecting a high around 69 degrees. Mostly cloudy to overcast continues Thursday night. We'll have another chance for some low ceilings with a yellow risk there for that. Low around 57 degrees. And Friday, we'll see mostly cloudy overcast conditions. Overall, expecting green conditions for our weather risk with a high around uh, 68 degrees. As we go into the extended forecast here, Saturday and Sunday, it looks like we'll see uh, rain chances starting later in the day on Saturday, but can't rule out about a 40% chance of seeing some morning showers pushing through the area. Uh, continue temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and we'll see some breezy conditions as that area of low pressure approaches that continues overnight into Sunday morning and then as that system starts to pull away we'll see those uh, rain chances diminishing from 60% down to 40% and eventually uh, tapering off as we get into the start of next week but we continue with our high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s through the extended forecast with our low temperatures in the mid 50s uh, see mostly cloudy conditions on Monday, and then we start to see some additional sun and some warming temperatures as we get into the day on Tuesday with a high around uh, 73 degrees. So that's going to wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.